let's move on to defensive player of the year. DeMarcus, who do you have winning defensive player of the year? It's Ben Simmons. Um, it was actually tough between Ben Simmons and even Joel Embiid. Reason I gave it to Simmons, he's played more games. I think he has, uh, depending on the night, the tougher assignment, night to night. Now, Embiid has a few nights here and there if they play the Bucks, if they play um, even the Nets on a good night when they're healthy, where he has to guard some big men and do some things. But most nights, the guards on the floor that Ben Simmons is guarding. Or the wings. Or the wings, because he's, like, <laughs> huge. He's, like, what, 6'10"? I thought he was, uh, I'm not sure. I thought he was 6'8 or 6'9. Somewhere up there. Yes. And so, um, he, he's done a, a fantastic job all season against that. Okay. Who do you have? I agree that it's Ben Simmons, and this makes me want a positive question for you. When to all of our listeners, when you think of defensive player of the year, I want you to ask yourself this question. Does positional defense matter? Because if it does, Ben Simmons should far and away be your defensive player of the year. Right? Ben Simmons is sixth in defensive win shares. He is the only guard in on the top. 10 list period not close period right he's fifth in steals per game there's not a single wing defender that's better than ben simmons in the league there's not a better person that can defend one through four every night and one through five most nights than ben simmons they're like if the toughest assignment is not a center it is given to ben simmons almost every single game and, and that's really important because it shows the versatility of his ability to defend. Now, I have a very large inkling feeling that most people will want to give it to Rudy Gobert for the third time in like four years or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I get it. He leads the league in defensive rebounds and total rebounds. He has he's first in blocks. He is leader in blocks per game now that Miles Turner has gotten hurt. He leads the league in defensive win shares like the raw numbers. If we just sit and just look at the raw stats, it is hard and nearly undeniable to not give it to Rudy Gobert. But he is useless outside of defending the five and defending the basket. Absolutely. I mean, we've seen the highlights of people like Steph that embarrass him. If he walks outside of the paint, he might be doing loop-de-loops. Yes. But inside of the paint, he is dominant. It is undeniable how dominant he is. So when you decide who you think defensive player of the year should be, it is really, do you value versatility or do you just value the raw stats? Period. As a Draymond fan, I value the versatility. 